hey guys what is up it is no help and welcome back to another video today so today i'm going to be talking about something that i know all of us have went through in the past and that is burnout now what do i mean when i say burnout burnout from runescape um it happens to the best of us and i'm actually not burnt out i just thought i'd make a video about this because I know this happens with a lot of my friends, they get burnt out from the game and then they stop playing the game for a while and it's because of the tedious grinds we have to do. Especially going for 99s and like long skills like runecrafting or agility. I was actually going to make this video about 99 runecrafting because that's pretty much the best way I can explain burnout. When going for a 99 the entire time, uh, you know, the first few levels, the first 50, 60, 70, even 80 you know like you're gaining a level every uh, at the start you're gaining a level every minute and then it turns into every hour and then it turns into a few hours and then it's eventually it takes you know with room crafting anyways it takes you know 20 hours for a level when you get into the high 90s and why do people do this because you know like you, that's why people get burnt out of this because it just takes so long it's the same repetitive action over and over again I look at RuneScape a lot like working in a factory um, because in a factory you're basically doing the exact same job over and over again until the end of your shift and that's how you get paid obviously. I mean not all factories are like this but majority of the factories are like uh, where it's repetitive action over and over again and that's pretty much what RuneScape is but you're gaining xp and the cool thing about runescape as well is you can switch up the meta you can make more money make less money types of things not with every skill but with most most skills in the game for example with runecrafting i could have done all of my runecrafting at nature runes and i would have made a lot more money than blood runes but it would have been 10k xp an hour slower or another example is i could have done soul runes instead of blood runes got 10k more xp per hour but made a lot worse money than blood runes but it's just uh one of those things you kind of have to look into and burnout happens to the best of us uh, especially when you've been playing this game for so long um i always found haven't recently pretty much in the past three years i've always consistently played and pretty much enjoyed it and i think that's obviously thanks to iron man mode but i've always found with playing runescape um i would play like crazy for a few months like back when i was younger and had less responsibilities and no job and stuff like that i play runescape like 10 hours a day all summer every single day and then eventually when it got back into the regular routine with school and everything like that i just couldn't be asked to play every single day all day and i'd get so bored and then i'd eventually burn out of the game and want to play something else like you know minecraft this sounds weird but i think we tend to burn out when we don't play as much it, just hear me out on this um if you play runescape one hour a day every single day and you know exactly what you're gonna do you know you you're more or less likely to get burnt out because you've got it planned in your head you know what i mean you're gonna do this that day this that day i'm sure you could still get bored and want to switch what you're doing and whatever but it's kind of like a set thing in your head and then all of a sudden you're you go from playing an hour a day to be playing two hours a week so you're you, you lose five hours of time there that's that would make you, you know, burn out of the game because you'd be getting your levels and your experience and stuff so much slower. And I found this a lot when I was a younger kid. I would basically grind all summer long on whatever skill I was working in pre-EOC, like fire making or strength or whatever the hell it was. I would grind the entire summer and then I'd get like in the high 90s or whatever of the skills. And then when school would kick back in, we'd be busy all day and then we'd have homework and, you know, we'd have friends and all these activities and stuff like that and you wouldn't have as much time to just sit and play runescape and when you don't have as much time to play you kind of lose focus on your goals the other type of burnout is where you just play too much an example for this would be like going for you know 200 million experience in a skill or even maxing for some of us for me i personally really like um going for 99s and maxing but i know there's a lot of people that don't but uh, before, or I guess after the EOC, when I was actually still playing RuneScape 3 a little bit, I was going for a bunch of 200 mils in skills, and I pretty much did mining on one account for almost two years straight. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know about um, Priftiness on RuneScape 3. It's pretty much the most overpowered update they ever made, I guess besides the evolution of combat. And basically what that did is gave you one spot where you could click, continuously click, and even when the ore ran out, you could still click it and just continue mining there. It was the most overpowered thing ever. And it was like 250 to 
300k i can't really remember it off the top of my head right now xp per hour it was insane and you just had to click like once every couple of minutes so like i'd be playing old school playing this account when it first started off and i would just be mining this rock over and over and over and over and over and eventually um when invention came out on that game i would just augment my tools and i ended up getting 200 mil invention 200 mil thieving and then I think it was, I got 280 mil, maybe less than that. I think it was like 160 million experience in mining. And I was just done with the game, you know what I mean? I was just like, why am I doing this? Partly why I burned out of RS3 was because of the updates, not just because of the repetitive skilling actions, but when it takes two years to do something, you know, you're, you're gonna get bored of it, you know what I mean? Like, runecrafting was, I'm gonna say six months, but I wasn't really playing it, I was in class you know doing blood runes like online so i didn't really notice it going by too much but if i sat at the screen and stared at myself doing blood runes for six months i 110 percent want to burnt out of the game that's why i like the diversity with uh i mean uh, runescape 3 has diversity too obviously but with old school where rune crafting i'll use again as an example if you want to afk you can do blood runes and if you want to not afk you can do nature runes or wrath runes i'll use a runescape 3 example if you want to i guess everything on runescape 3 is afk these days but back in the day on runescape 3 um you could have went and power mined iron or instead you could you know go to the living rock caverns you can get worse xp but you don't have to pay attention to as much and i love the diversity of the game that the game offers that and it offers it with pretty much every skill i won't say every skill like agility for example i mean they have that new update where but it's still very click intensive there's not really much afk agility if you want to count barb fishing as agility training then have fun getting 99 but there's not much diversity in something like agility but for most skills anyway there's a bunch of diversity even something like hunter you could just do birdhouse runs you know what i mean and there's pretty much every skill I, I wouldn't say every skill has a way of doing something afk but most of them in the game for sure have something of afk um all the combats do um prayer does magic does rune crafting does construction does not i do not think i don't think construction I, technically construction does does you could make those flat packs or whatever are those even on old school i don't know if those are even on old school construction doesn't <laughs> um hunter like not afk but you could do birdhouse runs yeah slayer 100 percent afk fletching is afk um crafting is afk thieving is not i don't think there's much you can do afk for thieving but keep in mind you could just look at another screen and repetitively repetitively click your mouse on arty knights or elves or something like that or blur yes there's afk things you can make like the anti venoms or whatever the hell they are you could make um and even just the regular potions have some afk inside of them agility not so much hp 100 percent mining 100 percent smithing 100 percent fishing obviously cooking obviously fire making winter todd's not too afk but it's a lot more afk and then there's a diversity method right there wood cutting redwoods is the like one of the most afk things in the game and obviously farming you just plant the tree and then it's afk for like 12 hours but my point is that there is pretty much a diverse way of training every single skill in the game so if you are bored or stuck on a skill afk it I'm telling you that right now um with a few exceptions you, you like i said there's some you're gonna have to get over but if you think about it that's it you know like if you're stuck on a skill you don't want to get a skill for a quest or whatever just afk it honestly um i 110 percent wouldn't have got 99 rune crafting if it wasn't for the blood runes and the how afk they were i was able to train and get like 100 to 150k rune crafting a day while i was in in school and keep in mind, I did pretty well in school too. Like I wasn't like playing RuneScape and not paying attention. I I was 1% off the honors roll. So kind of sucks there. But uh, yeah, you can seriously just AFK any single skill. And uh, it, that's how you won't burn out of the game. My last thing tip on sort of like not burning out from RuneScape is... This is going to sound really weird, but play an Iron Man account. And I yeah i get it if you if you think i'm crazy for saying that then yeah but realistically the grinds just feel so much better on an iron man account like no matter what the skill is agility it's pretty much the exact same skill on a main account but for some reason trust me on this it just feels better that you get it on an iron man account and why does an iron man account help you from not burning out of the game is because 
there's always something for you to do. If you want to go do a Slayer task, you can't just go do it, you know? You got to make the potions, you got to cook the food, and it will help you from not burning out because there's been so many skills that I've trained without even really going to train them. And this might be inefficient for those people that want 200 mil all or whatever, but you go to train a skill and you don't even realize that you're train you're gonna go train it because you know you, you gotta cook the food for training slayer you gotta train the agility to unlock that thing you know it's just you knock so many things out without realizing it and that makes it so you you know you don't have to sit there and grind it um i have 15 million crafting experience on this account i have almost 17 million cooking experience and it wasn't a grind you know what i mean i mean those are pretty basic skills but it wasn't a grind for me at all because you know i need food so i gotta cook more than 99. <laughs> it's as simple as that really and uh i don't feel like i'm going for post cooking and uh you know i fit you know it's just it's one of those things where it's like it doesn't feel like you're wasting your time or we're gonna burn out because you're doing it for a reason you're not just doing it for ranks and that's another reason why i quit runescape 3 is because i was literally playing that game for ranks and if you're playing the game for ranks and you enjoy it that is fine but if you're playing the game for ranks because you just want that higher rank and you you're not even having fun but you just need to keep your your numbers up like that's a job at that point that is a job Moral of the story is play the game to have fun, and if you do burn out, try a different method. Don't quit the game, don't stake your bank, don't drop all your items. Try a different method. AFK, have some fun, go do some bossing, create an Iron Man account. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and check the description. I have a tutorial Island to Twisted Bow from scratch series running on the channel right now, and as well as my Iron Man progression. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.